Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY with Dewey. Today we are fixing our vibratory tumbler. And it was like this belt is done. Let's make sure it still turns on. So the motor is still working. That's good news. Now we just need a new belt. I'm gonna go look. Okay, good news. I found a belt. So this is the 300 dB model of the Mr. Deber. That brand. And it's the 300 model, so it's a smaller one. So we have a replacement belt. It was a spare that I bought a while ago. Alright. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and remove these two bolts. Um we also have to get this grease fitting off as well. So let's do that first. Thank you. 
grease fitting is off. No, we have two bolts. These are pretty big bolts. I'm thinking, I can't remember what size they were. So I'm gonna test a couple different sizes. 19? Yeah, 19. And I remember I had to use a breaker bar last time. So that's what this is for. So 19 millimeter, and this is for the bolts that are holding it to the tub. I need an extension. So this is about what, a five inch extension. screws off. Back screws off. Let's we'll see if we can maneuver the belt. Oh, if not, we're gonna have to take it all apart. So we can't. So now we have to loosen the other screws as well. Out of bolts. screws all the way off. We're just loosening them. There we go. So I loosen it just enough. And do you see how now there's a, enough of a gap? So now I can maneuver this belt. Oh, it's dark. Yeah, so, so I'm maneuvering the belt out between the, the blue bracket and the bottom of the tub. Okay. The belt's out. Yeah, this belt is done. So here's the old belt and here's the new belt. It's very stretched. Okay, there we go. Now my flash is working. So what I what we did is we removed four or two bolts. This one, the one in the back holding the bracket, we removed the, the grease fitting 
that goes right here, it was this one, connects to the side and it goes in there. On this side, I just loosened it just so it gave enough slack for this side so I could wedge the, the belt out from that. So it's really difficult to put take this completely out. I've done it before, so I don't want to do that. So I loosened both this front one and the back bolt. All right, now we are going to put the belt back in, a new one back in. Here's the new belt, old belt. Look at it, it's all broken. Cracked all over the place, so this is the new one. And here's the number, serial number, but that's the size, B35 or 5L380, 4122. And I believe that says 1296097. All right, let's wedge this belt, the new belt in. I don't want to put the tension on it yet until we get all the bolts in, but it's just sitting in there. So I, I was able to maneuver it in, the new bolts in. Uh, I just haven't connected it to the bottom motor fully. All right, time to put the bolts back in. The rear bolt. hand tightened. Now I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on. But we do a crisscross pattern. So I'm going to do that one. Then the rear on this right side. Front. Okay, let's go up this side. So I don't have a torque wrench for um, this size.
So I'm just um, making sure it's tight. All right, we're gonna use the breaker bar to make it tight too. Not too much, we'll use it on it. Just a little bit with the brick bar. Alright, last one. All four bolts are back in, belts in. Now we have to get the belt over the pulley. So I'm just rotating it. You gotta be careful with this. I can loosen the bolts on the bottom, but I kinda don't want to, cause um, this is a factory setting. start from the bottom there we go much easier so do the bottom pulley and then the top pulley all right our new belt in Tension. Okay, and now uh, we need to put the grease fitting back on. So over right here. Rotate this from the outside and it'll help me thread this in. Oh. There we go. So, do you see how it's I'm spinning it on the outside out here and it's just rotating the whole tube? This was uh, 11 millimeter. So I'm using metric, I don't, yeah, it's working, so it's fine. That's everything back together. Um, just the cover, the panel in front. And we should be good to go. So this is still sitting in our soundproof box. Um, these machines are pretty loud, so. Um, the soundproof box has made a huge difference. Alright, we are going to grease it up as well. Just using a basic grease gun.
I always like to put um, these screws in by hand first. Um, you don't want to just put a drill directly to it or a torque wrench or an impact. Um, you don't want it to cross thread. This is just an access panel, so it doesn't have any structure, structural or anything, so you don't have to make it too tight. I just don't want it to rattle, so make it tight so it doesn't shake and make a whole bunch of noise. Soundproof panels. It just kind of sits in here. All right. Let's go ahead and put the the enclosure back together.
All right, good. Done.